Hello Internet, hello and welcome to this video. Now today I just want to get started with Dota 2 and explain to you everything you need to know to well be able to start with Dota 2. Now this may include some very basic things uh, but well <laughs> we're not even gonna go into a game yet it's gonna be all menu stuff what can you do with the game and etc. Yeah we're not talking about how to play the game today. Now now, I want to do something outside of the game first. And that's reddit.com slash r slash share Dota 2. In case you don't have a Dota 2 key yet, I myself have given out about 100 keys so far. And I think I'm doing fine, but honestly, uh, <laughs> I, I'm done, right? I feel like I have done my job. However, if you don't have a key yet, you can just go on this Reddit page. You have to register for Reddit, which takes like a second. You don't even have to check your email or anything. Like registering for Reddit is really, really quick. And by the way, this is linked down in the description, but you can just register on here. And then you've got these guys that are giving away keys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can get a key pretty much instantly. It's very easy, very simple and well, there's really no reason for you to not have the key if you want one. So, so much for that. Anyways, so let's go into the game. Now, I'm going to go through this menu stuff right here and explain everything, what it is about. First of all, though, first of all, I want to remind you that we've got the chat channel called Minimi. So far, it's only me and Flavor Dave in here. But if you want to join the chat channel, it's very simple. You just press on here and you've got all of these Russian whatever, whatever. Uh, if, however, if you're searching for one, you just go on here and you type in mini me's, right? Mini me's, join. And then you're in here and then you can be rawr, 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 play with me, like that, right? And I'm probably going to ignore you if you do this, but <laughs> if I'm looking for a group, I'm going to be asking here. So, yeah, just go ahead, join my channel. I will definitely appreciate it. No, then we've got the block right here, which is just new stuff, right? News, updates. I guess all of that is pretty self-explanatory. There's really nothing I have to say about it. So uh, let's just go ahead. Then we've got the store. Now, the store, as you can see right here, I already got something open. G T1 Champions League Season 5 Pass. You need this to be able to watch it live, but we're going to talk about it a little bit later. But then we can just buy stuff here. It's all cosmetics. All cosmetics. You can buy nothing that's going to have any impact on the game whatsoever. But there are quite a bunch of cool things, like an announcer right here. We can go and uh, can we check him out a bit? Oh, uh, apparently not. Well, that's that's kind of a shame, isn't it? Uh, but that's really not a big deal because you're going to hear him in-game in anyways. Uh, I'm going to show you in a second why, but you can check out stuff like this. So we've got him right here and then we can just go over here and we've got all of that preview and we can see the claws and that's how he looks like with this set. I personally don't like it, but well, that's not the point, is it? And we've got a backpack right here with all your stuff in in there that you own. Uh, if you got anything you don't need, give it to me. Give it, give, give, give me everything. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> then loadout and all of that stuff. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Then we've got a workshop. Now, this one is interesting. So, uh, we can do just, well, I suppose, browse the workshop. And it's going to open up Steam right here, right? And... Then we've got all of these ones things, and these are community created items, all right? Uh, for example, the Dark Forest Hut, and it's currently getting upvoted, and uh, well, it looks pretty badass. I've got to admit that much. And then we've got all of that fun stuff, and this is basically a mod. And if this gets enough upvotes and enough players want this, it might just get implemented into the game. And isn't that sweet? Isn't that kind of awesome? It's just like, again, we've got all kinds of stuff. I personally really like this one. <laughs> the Spidey Courier. I think this one he is so cute. Look at him. <laughs> isn't he? Isn't he so cute? Oh, isn't he just so cute? Even a video. Um, Let's see the song, just in case there's any music there. But yeah, isn't he, isn't he just so cute? I, I like that one. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Yeah, so much for that. And of course, you can submit your own stuff and all of that 
Jazz, 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 jazz. Anyways, then we got the usual find a match right here. I guess that's pretty obvious. You can select your modes down here. You can even select regions. So if you don't want to play with Chinese people, I suppose you can turn that off. But of course, if the Chinese people select a queue with you, there's nothing you can do about that. You can even select languages. But so far, I've seen that do absolutely nothing. So, oh, well, oh, well, I guess everybody has English turned on then we can queue solo so in this queue you only get paired and paired against solo players so you won't have to go up against a team of five with five solo players which is always nice cool bot match which that's cool i guess team matchmaking uh i don't have a team yet and i don't know if i will ever have any but yeah i suppose this is a nice thing we got lobbies right here right private games all of that fun stuff and quests now this right here is the tutorial i played through the one tutorial quest they've got so far and it's actually quite nice uh it's very basic stuff very basic stuff but but at least they make an effort to not make it entirely boring it's actually kind of like a single player game it's like Warcraft free uh, if you ever played the frozen throne in the beginning like you get this one quest which just run around with thrall and is that the frost in front i'm not sure or actually no i think this is the original walker free anyways you get the point right that's very much like one of those games and yeah it's actually got its own kind of storyline it's it's actually rather nice and it's not just a regular map too so uh, this was quite quite well done i have to say that much but <laughs> it only got one quest so far but yet again game is still better they're gonna add more to that now this right here is amazing so we got watch first of all we got a calendar right we can like oh, oh all of the tournaments all of the tournaments and we can go, can go in here and all of the tournaments and oh this tournament got live game so let's open this up and oh we can watch this tournament except that we can't because we don't have the tournament access that's the thing i had opened up early on so we can go to the store and then it's gonna give us the leech season five whatever pass we can buy for six euros which yeah it's i get i get this right this is reasonable so they make no money from ads but you have to pay to watch which i suppose that's okay-ish however you don't have to pay for everything of course like there are tournaments i guess maybe this one you don't have to pay for i of course don't know I'm pretty sure you don't have to pay for the international. Is it anywhere on here? Yeah, the international East qualifiers. Pretty sure you don't have to pay for this one. Which, of course, is the big one that's going on at the minute. Then we've got live games. And we're going to get to that a little bit later on. The recent games, all of that. Right. I downloaded the games I downloaded. Oh, well. And then we've got Learn. So we've got Heroes right here. And we can just select Juggernaut. Indeed. And then we get an explanation of what he does. And isn't this sweet? <laughs> isn't this cool? <laughs> so we've got a short little videos showing off what the hero does. And then we've got... Anyways. Yeah, explanations of his stats and all of that fun stuff. Like even hit points at level 15. Isn't that cool? And even a little little story, but that's entirely irrelevant to me at least. But <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it matters to you. Items, pretty self-explanatory. And then builds, of course, you can create a new hero build. So, for example, we create the man tiny build. And then, uh, let's just, here we go. We got tiny, right? And I'm going to call it man tiny 2, 12, I guess. And then we can add item build and we just, like... Here you go, you get this, and then because, 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 armlet, armlet, yes, I'm not good at typing, but <laughs> let me can uh, rename this, like, man, like, I, I think you get the point, right, and early man, or something of these lines, and then we can have another note for this item, man, 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 man. yeah, 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 I think it's pretty obvious, and well, uh, it was, of course, it was really, really sweet. And if you want to, if you don't want to uh, have your own build, you can browse Steam Guides and it's going to open up the Steam community. And here you go, got a bunch of guides you can check out. Of course, now we're going to go back to watch and let's just go into a game. Let's say this one right here. This one looks cool. 134 spectators. Let's just go straight into it. And well, it's going to load for a second, which is nice, I suppose. Now, 
something about these uh, games, of course, is if they are shortcasted, you can have a channel right here, which it doesn't have one because it's not getting shortcasted. But I suppose if I really wanted to, I could shortcast it. I don't know. <laughs> but we've got a directed camera right now, which I think is really sweet, actually. Like the camera just moves on its own. You don't actually have to do anything, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, it also looks nice, but then we got free camera, of course, if we want to, we can just do it uh, like this too. Or player perspective, now this one is, of course, amazing. So, for example, uh, we want to learn how to play Rubik, so we're just gonna, yeah, watch him play. That's how this Rubik player plays, isn't that kind of sweet? If you want to watch a different hero, like, for example, Nakes, this guy is Chinese or some Asian language, so he's probably good. <laughs> So let's just watch him a bit, or I personally am awful with Doom, so, well, why not watch a bit of Doom and learn how to play the game. Now, of course, a different way to also learn how to play the game is guides. Now, this is kind of bugged because we are only spectating. If you are in the actual game and you open up this menu right here, you're gonna have actual guides. So, um, more than just a default build, you're gonna have lots of guides, lots of guides in here that you can choose from. And this is actually kind of loud. I hope it's not too loud. Uh, that's just my sound settings, though. Right? My sound settings are kind of screwed up. <laughs> Haven't adjusted them properly yet. Uh, let's actually get away from this, shall we? Uh, no. Free camera, please. Up, up, up. Actually, let me show you the directed camera. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we had a fight, and now the camera is going to follow these guys. And Isn't that sweet? It just keeps up with the action, and... Yeah, just overall kind of amazing. Uh, but, yet again, player perspective. And you can open up guides right here, right? And I'm gonna have a list of guides, which is sweet. Uh, here we go with all of that. Chess, which is nice. Uh, combat log, which doesn't do anything. Shared unit control. <laughs> yeah, great. Anyway, so this one right here is cool. This one right here, you should keep in mind. You can, uh, yep, basically change stuff. You don't even have to own yourself, right? I don't own any of these skins. I myself only own this one because I bought the Compedium. But these guys own other skins. So I can use all of their skins because they are sharing them. I can just go in here and have like, yes, give me Frozen Touch. Oh, hell yeah. And then I want, I want the Juggernaut announcer. And I want, I want the, the, the Dr. Kleiner announcer too, <laughs> right? <laughs> So that's kind of sweet. I myself, of course, use the Bastion and also because it's just amazing. But, again, you don't have to own this stuff yourself. Other players can own it and they will share it with you. However, of course, nobody in the game got an announcer. Well, then you ain't getting one either. Uh, which, of course, is the incentive right here. If you want to use your announcer all the time, well, you kind of got to buy it. Which is why I've got the Bastion announcer. No, of course, the replay interface right here got like all kinds of stuff, isn't this? Yeah, it's, I don't really approve of this replay interface all that much because I don't think it's that amazing, but hey, it's still a work in progress. Um, these little green buttons up here, by the way, are ultimate. So if it's green, ultimate is available. If it's either not green, it's not available. Pretty obvious, right? And I've got these thingies, which are... Honestly, these are awful. Let's just be honest. These are awful. They take up far too much screen space. And just... Uh, I don't really like them, if I'm completely honest. Anyways. So, let's just leave this thing again. And oh, here we go. It's that simple. You can just watch a game. Isn't that kind of cool? I really, really like that. Anyways, then we've got Learn. We already went there. And then... Last but not least, of course, community. This is not finished yet. Uh, once we can actually open up guilds, I'm going to open up minimis, of course. Of course, but since we can't do that, well, we're going to have to wait, right? Once it is in the game, though, we will open up minimis. Uh, until then, we're just going to have the chat channel, which I suppose that's going to be enough. And then we, of course, can create a new team, full team name, all of that, jazz, and, uh, well, you need five players for that. Now, this one right here is pretty cool, isn't it? So, we've got professional teams. And it's just a, a list of professional teams. And we can go, oh, Navi. I like Navi. I'm a fan of Navi. And then we've got Danny right here. And we can go, like, game history. Oh, they play the game. Isn't this cool? And we've got tournaments. Oh, hell yeah. So, these are the tournaments Navi is participating in. Ah, oh, isn't that great? And we can go on to... Dandy, and then we go like view his Steam profile and the most recent games, and oh, no, Druid. So let's go in here 
and reveal the winning team. Oh, okay, the dire one. And then we download the replay and watch the replay. Ta da! Isn't that sweet? And we get even waiting. So, did we enjoy the game? Oh, of course we did. Ah, come on, it's dandy in there. The game would be amazing. No way, it wouldn't be amazing. So, <laughs> yeah, I think you get the point, don't you? Now, uh, Londrud still has the problem of not having his bear on here, which is kind of... Oh, I suppose that's never gonna get fixed. That's just a problem to you. <laughs> and now something you can also do with oh, a watching on... I, I don't actually give me a second. I need to figure out where it was. Ah, I forgot. Recent games. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. So uh, we've got recent games and we can filter. And then, for example, we want to watch a game of No Tail because, well, No Tail, duh. And here we go. We've got a bunch of games from No Tail. And we can just go in here and we're like, oh. Ah, oh, details. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, how about... Oh, oh, let's download that and watch that too. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that cool? Anyways, even in the terms of live games, we of course can also team games. Ah, okay, you know, these games are played by teams, but that, well, tons of the hero filter, but we can say we only want a game with Rubik, because Rubik. We don't really need more for a reason, so give me a game with Rubik. And well, here we go, Rubik, 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 Rubik. Well, that, honestly, that didn't change anything because Rubik isn't like every game. <laughs> because he's awesome. So we won a game with Tusk, not Rusk, Tusk. Here we go. And uh, uh -huh. here we go, we've got a bit of Tusk going on. So yeah, isn't that sweet? And we've got, of course, our downloaded page. And... Yeah, I guess that's really all I have to say. Well, so much for that. So much for that. Again, please join my chat channel. Would appreciate that if you could do me the favor of doing that. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. That would also be appreciated. And, well, <laughs> so much for this. I think this is nice just covering the basics, right? Uh, again, if you don't have a key yet, just go on Share Dota 2, Share Dota 2 on Reddit. And these guys give keys away. Like you can see, like so many keys, so many keys. So you can't get one. Like seriously, if you want one, this is the place to go. Just go over here and get yourself a key. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple to do. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. And well, see you tomorrow. Bye.